Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And it's interesting as we um, have Microsoft giving us the uh, OK saying it's um, now available to everyone, uh, 24H2, Windows 11, 24H2. Well, almost everyone. Um, there's a lot of comments of people saying, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm blocking it for now. I want to wait. Uh, I'm not sure I want it right now. And of course, there's a lot of bad rep on the uh, 24H2 because of all the issues that happened. So that probably cools off a lot of people. They just want to wait in the last minute to absolutely to install it because they're not sure. And it's totally understandable with all the bad um, publicity it got with all the problems. Uh, for those that uh, tell me, well, you know, it's not there yet. I look at Windows Update. I check for updates. It doesn't show up. And so uh, is that normal? I don't know why. Uh, it's totally normal if you don't see it, even though they say it's, you know, general availability for everybody. Uh, one of the things that uh, you got to know is there could still be some blocker. There could still be something on your PC that the telemetry tells Microsoft, no, no, don't install here now. We're not ready yet. So uh, don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it unless we were at the last month of, you know, uh, before end of support. Uh, we're still six months away, so <clears throat> it's fine for now. And uh, there are some blockers still in effect when you look at the uh, Windows page for the uh, known issues. Uh, there's still some investigations going on, and there's still a few blockers left. So, you know, anything can be from a driver on your system that's not ready yet or tested yet. That's also something we don't talk about, but sometimes it's because stuff has not been tested yet. And uh, it could be a piece of software you have. It could be your antivirus. So if you have a third-party antivirus rather than using Defender uh, or Windows Security, uh, that also is known to sometimes take a little bit of time before the the official uh, updates go through because for compatibility, especially with security software that has a lot of implications within the system. So for those that don't have it yet, don't worry about it. Some of you have said, yep, it showed up and I'm, uh, you know, either blocking it or some have installed it. Um, it seems to be not too bad now. Um, and, you know, if you have issues, there's a lot of the issues that I see people mention um, you know, and we got to be careful because very often people tend to generalize, say, oh, well, you know, I got this sluggishness and this and that. Uh, some stuff doesn't work well or it stutters or a lot of problems in Windows are really, really um, specific to a certain hardware, a certain software, um, and not necessarily Windows itself as a problem, but something on your PC is creating that issue and um, so it's, it's a complex world with Windows because of all the you know billions literally literally billions of configurations out there so uh, just don't worry if you don't get it now and uh, for those that are waiting well it's fine I mean it doesn't bring that much for now that that you know you absolutely need it uh, you can still wait if you uh, you rather wait it's fine and for those that want it, well, you know, I don't think there's going to be a problem if you install it. Uh, most people seem to have a pretty good install right now of 24H2. I got it on three machines here, and all three are working fine with 24H2 without any issues. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.